Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time this video actually finds you. Welcome to this edition of Monday Motivation. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, something called earn it, earn it. Uh, before I get into it, you guys, um, hit the, uh, the like button, subscribe, actually uh, share good content with good people. All right, let's get into it. I don't know what's been going on lately, but uh, I've been thinking about my sister a lot lately. And um, it made me think about uh, a moment where I had a conversation with her and she wanted to buy her a brand new iPad. And those of you who are watching this who know my sister, she had this huge iPad. I mean, she had the biggest and the best iPad with the largest amount of memory, the best camera, all of that kind of stuff. And you could see her, she seemed like she had like a big old cooking pan that she was using to take videos and take pictures and stuff like that. But she loved that iPad. But when she was thinking about actually purchasing the iPad, um, you know, we were having a discussion about it, whatever. And uh, I told her this, I'm gonna share this with you. I told her to earn the iPad. When she was trying to make a decision on whether to purchase it or not, I said, earn it. And what I meant by that is set a goal that you want to achieve in your life, maybe a personal goal or a business goal, a financial goal, whatever, something that you have to reach. And when you reach that particular goal, you can go ahead and treat yourself to purchase that. See, one of the issues that we seem to have uh, in the community is as soon as money comes in people's hands, it's gone. It's already pre-spent. It's pre-spent on bills. It's pre-spent on things that you might not necessarily need, but things that you want, uh, et cetera. And in order to start building better financial habits, in order to uh, start building your delayed gratification in your life, where you have the resources to actually purchase something, but you start stacking and you start saving and you do your research and maybe even find a better price. I think a lot of us have probably had situations where you 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 want to purchase something, you, you actually see it, you wanna buy it, but then you find out a week or so later or even a couple of days later, what have you, that you could have just gone on Amazon, you could have gone online and searched for it, you could have bought that used. It didn't necessarily have to be new and you would have saved, you know, hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, or just save some money in your pocket. So I encourage you to actually earn the things that you that you might necessarily want. It'll help you with your goal setting, right? To say, when I reach this goal, I can go ahead and I can I can enjoy this. Okay? And the bigger the goal the bigger the treat, the bigger the bigger the thing that you can actually enjoy, right? If you set a goal and say, look, in my business, I wanna make an extra $30,000 this year, okay? And when you, earn, when you earn that particular goal, when you get it, the thing that you earn should be really, really worth it. Like maybe you can go ahead and take, you know, $4,000 and go on a nice vacation or something like that, right? So, I don't know. It was just in my spirit to actually share this with you this week. Been thinking about my sister a lot and that's what popped into my mind. Uh, something that, you know, I can use from my memory to encourage the community, to encourage you to do something different. Earn it. Don't just go in your pocket, go in your bank account, go in whatever and just grab the money and get something that you want. Um, actually earn it. You know, I have a lot of people out there who are close to me who are doing really well when it comes to starting new businesses, um, uh, creating new things. My son's got this thing that he's doing with photography. It's just awesome. And, um, you know, I just want to encourage everybody who's just getting started with their ventures and the things that they're doing to actually produce uh, more income and, and produce income for themselves to uh, don't go so fast. You know, as you reach new goals, with your business or reach new goals personally in your life. You know, you you got a year or so before you get ready to graduate from college. You know, don't go ahead and as soon as you graduate from college and get that job, don't go ahead and uh, start spending thousands of dollars that you're gonna be getting in on purchasing a new vehicle because you're just tired of that car. Hey, that car was just awesome for you while you went in school. It got you back and forth to everything that you needed to do. There is absolutely no reason to go out there and spend $500 a month to get the car that you want. 
you know, go ahead and get some other things taken care of. You got some student loans, man, pay that stuff for first. Put things in perspective to understand that, you know, yeah, you're working and you, you work, you're starting to work hard and stuff like that. You've reached a major goal, but you don't want to go into debt in order to start treating yourself and, and having the things that you want. That car was fine. Keep it on the road. Keep it running. And, um, and stack that money that's coming in so that when it comes time for you to actually purchase a vehicle, it's because you need one because the other one's no longer working. Um, before I let you guys go, I'm gonna share you with you, you this. Um, maybe in some future video, I'll show my car. I'm driving the same car that I bought in 2007. It's a 2008. And if you saw that car or when you see that car, paint missing off it, all that kind of stuff, right? But when I bought that car, it had a lifetime warranty on the powertrain. I'm gonna ride that thing to the wheels fall off of it before I decide to go ahead and purchase me another vehicle, okay? So I don't just talk this stuff, I walk this stuff, I live my life this way. I've been very frugal throughout my life and I've been blessed. The uh, type of parents I've had, my education, um, just the type of people who've been around me, my mentors, um, people that I looked up to that were doing things that I wanted to have in my life. So um, I'm trying to share that with the community. With that being said, you guys, have a great week. Have a great life, man. It's, it's so wonderful. All right, I'll speak to you soon.